Congratulations, you have a curvy body type. And you might have some mixed emotions about that. On one hand, you might be super excited to know that you have this particular body type. And on the other, you may be wondering, well, how do I exactly dress that? And like most people, you have some sort of tape playing in the back of your head in regards to your body type. You might have heard things about a curvy body type like, well, curvy body types are sex symbols. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, I don't want to dress like that. Like, that's not part of my style. Do I got to dress like a sex symbol because I'm curvy now? I want to tell you, do not worry. Just because you have heard things about your particular body type does not necessarily mean that they're true. And that's because there is no right or wrong body type. There is only a right or wrong way of dressing it. Learning your body type and being true to it by dressing it optimally is the foundation for building a wardrobe you truly adore. One that looks as good on you, if not better, than it does on the hanger. So in this episode of Adore Your Wardrobe, I'm going to break down what it means to be the curvy body type. I'm going to teach you about horizontal balance and what that means specifically to a curvy body type. I'm going to debunk some myths and misconceptions about a curvy body type. I'm going to give you two simple ways that you can start dressing your body type today with things you already have in your wardrobe. I don't know about you, but let's get this party started. Hey everybody and welcome. It is Kelly Snyder from Adore Your Wardrobe and if this is the first time that you have watched an episode, I just want to say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I run an online fashion education program called Adore Your Wardrobe and over the last eight years, yes eight, I have helped thousands of women demystify fashion through body symmetry formulas which are based in math and science. Essentially, we look at fashion from a very logical point of view, from the math and the science and the formulas that it is, and we teach you how to dress your unique body type. And in this video, I'm going to lean into those formulas just a little bit, and we are going to do a deep dive into the curvy body type. Now, I do not want you to be scared because I said the word formulas. There will be no pencil or paper needed. You won't have to do any mathematical equations like, This isn't going to be something where you have to do math every time before you put your pants on and a shirt on. I promise it's not that. It is really important for you to understand the theories in women's fashion and how they work on your body type. But you do need to understand the theories in women's fashion and how those relate to your individual body. So without further ado, let's learn one of the first theories in women's fashion, and that is horizontal balance. Okay, in a past video that's titled How to Find Your Body Type, I talked about the standard of women's fashion being the hourglass, which happens to be your body type too. And the definition of an hourglass is a balanced bust and hips with a defined waist. Essentially, it's an hourglass or a figure eight. So balance bust and hips, defined waist. Just balance bust and hips, defined waist. That is the standard in women's fashion, and it's called the hourglass. And you, lucky girl, you hit the jackpot because you are a curvy body type. You have the hourglass naturally, but not everybody has that. And because they don't have that hourglass naturally, they have to trick the eye into seeing it where it isn't there normally. And they do that by putting together an outfit which achieves their illusion of balance goal, and that's all about obtaining horizontal balance. Now, I promise you, horizontal balance isn't as confusing as it may seem, but in a way to cement the idea with you, I'm actually going to take you through each one of the body types. I'm going to talk about how they achieve horizontal balance against the standard that is the women's fashion, which is the hourglass. And we're going to talk about what their illusion of balance goal is. And the reason I do that is because what I find is a lot of people can look at their friends or their relatives and they can say, well, I know that my sister is a pair. And so when I talk about this illusion of balance goal and horizontal balance as it relates to a pair, you can visually think that. You can kind of see it through because you can see that on somebody else's body. So when you start to see it on somebody else's body, then it becomes a little bit easier to understand it of how it would work on yours. 
So again, I go through all the different body types because I really do believe that it helps cement this idea and it makes it easier for you to implement into your own wardrobe. Okay, so remember, the goal is to trick the eye into seeing the hourglass. If there isn't one there naturally, you got there one naturally, we'll talk about you too. And we refer to this, this trickery that we talk about as a body types illusion of balance goal. Let's start with the apple. So an apple is blessed with an hourglass that is full in the middle. They need help filling the upper and lower parts of their hourglass in order to look balanced. Their illusion of balance goal is up and down. Next, a carrot. So a carrot is blessed with an hourglass that is full on top. They need help defining their midpoint and filling the lower part of their hourglass in order to look balanced. Their illusion of balance goal is in and down. A curvy is blessed with an hourglass that is the standard. Like I said, you hit the jackpot, my friend. But they need to make sure that they don't overfill any one part of their hourglass or they'll look unbalanced. Their illusion of balance goal is to maintain shape. Next, a pear. So a pear is blessed with an hourglass that is full on the bottom with a defined midpoint. They need help filling the upper part of their hourglass in order to look balanced. Their illusion of balance goal is up and out. And then finally, a straight. So a straight is blessed with an hourglass that is full on top and on bottom. They need help defining their midpoint in order to look balanced. Their illusion of balance goal is in. I find when we think about it this way with the other body types, your illusion of balance goals start to make a little bit more sense. Horizontal balance starts to make a little more sense. Because when you think about it this way, it's easy to understand why a top might look great on your friend because she's a pear, but looks awful on you because you're a curvy. How you achieve balance is very, very different. The pear is trying to fill the upper part of their hourglass in order to look balanced, while you as a curvy were just trying to maintain shape. So the shirt that looks great on your pear friend probably makes you feel top heavy in comparison. When you pick clothes and accessories that don't help you fill your hourglass, you can actually overfill your hourglass and they can make you look bigger than you actually are. So it's kind of crazy, right? When you buy clothes, you want them to work with your body and sometimes they can do the exact opposite. I always say, if you have a situation where you picked out some clothing at a department store, different pieces, put them together and had a picture taken and you looked at it and you were like, why do I look like I'm so much heavier than I actually am? More than likely you were picking clothing that was working against your body instead of with it. So that's why I say this phrase so often, if you follow me for any amount of time, I always say that you wanna pick clothes that work with your body. So again, that's to fill in the part of the hourglass that needs it and not against it, which would be like overflowing your hourglass. Why that's so important. Think about it like everybody is essentially trying to figure out how to be an hourglass. And when you pick clothes that don't work with it, again, they're gonna overfill it. You're gonna look bigger than you actually are. And you wanna pick clothes that actually don't overflow your hourglass. So again, pick clothes that work with your body, fill the right part of your hourglass at the right time, and not against it, overflow in your hourglass, and you will have an outfit that looks balanced. Okay, so let's talk about curvies and how they can achieve horizontal balance in their outfits. And I'm gonna give you two easy ways of things that you can do with items you probably already have in your wardrobe. Okay, so let's talk again about a curvy's illusion of balance goal, and that is to maintain shape. But to maintain shape means to be mindful of your clothing choices, not only as individual pieces, but also how you put them together. It is super easy to overfill your hourglass as a curvy. So while other body types have these specific goals, right? Like in and up and out and down or a combination of two, as a curvy, you're essentially going to try to juggle all of them at the same time. But it doesn't have to be difficult. I think jewelry is one of the easiest ways for a curvy to provide that visual interest that they're looking for in order to kind of maintain shape. And my trick on this is to pick two different areas to focus on. So for example, if you're gonna wear statement earrings, 
then contemplate wearing a bracelet too. Or if you wear a longer pendant necklace, add a bracelet in there. Having multiple pieces of jewelry allows the eye to kind of bounce around on your outfit. And that's really what you want. You want the eye to bounce around so it maintains your shape. So it kind of looks all over the place and doesn't focus on one part of your hourglass over another. But if jewelry isn't your thing, that's cool. You can keep jewelry very minimal if you don't want to wear a whole bunch of it. But then you want to look for styles of clothing that resemble a figure eight. Now, you may be like, what in the world does that mean? Like, what do you mean pick styles of clothes that look like a figure eight? What? Huh? So styles of clothes that resemble a figure eight would be like a wrap top or a wrap dress or wearing flare jeans with a peplum jacket. Looking at your whole outfit in totality and seeing if you can see that figure eight, that hourglass as you put that outfit together. Okay, now let's talk about a few of the misconceptions about being a curvy body type. And I'm guaranteeing that one of these is gonna surprise you. Misconception number one, curvy body types are the easiest body type to dress. <coughs> Wrong. Yeah, I know, you won the lottery for having the perfect figure based upon women's fashion, right? Like you're like, woohoo, I totally did it. Yeah, I did it on the standard. But it is the hardest body type to dress. It is so hard to not overfill your hourglass. You have to be so intentional, not only with your individual purchases, but how you put an outfit together. While everyone wants to be you, and they might have changed their measurements in the body type calculator like 16 different times in order to get to a curvy body type, what they might wanna know is that your body type is the hardest to dress. Misconception number two, a curvy body type needs to wear a belt to highlight their waist. Well, this is kinda up to you. This isn't necessarily wrong, but it's not necessarily right either. I just want to tell you, a curvy body type is not limited in wearing belts all the time. So if you like a belt, then awesome. But if you don't really like wearing belts, you don't have to do that either. There are so many ways for you to highlight your waist, to create a figure eight in your outfit, to maintain that balance. And it comes with varying ways of doing it, right? So it's like styles of tops and dresses and colors and pants and jewelry. So again, you don't feel like you just have to go down one road in order to highlight your waist. You can do it through many different ways as well. Last misconception, curvy body types need to avoid wearing layers. Eh, wrong, thumbs down. So a curvy body type does not need to avoid wearing layers. A layer can actually help highlight the silhouette of a curvy body type, but you've gotta be mindful. You need to be mindful of the cut and the style of the layer. You have to be mindful of the color and the details on the layer as well. Remember, your illusion of balance goal is to maintain shape. And when you build your outfit with that in mind, there really isn't very many items that are off limits. I've tried to make it as easy as possible for you. If you maybe did the calculator a few times in order to achieve a curvy body type, that's cool. But I also want to encourage you to make sure that you're honest about what your body type is. And maybe if you thought you were a curvy, but you're not so sure about it now, we have provided a resource right underneath here in the comments. It is a free body type calculator. You just need three measurements and we will tell you exactly what your body type is and its illusion of balance goal. The thing I love the most though about our program and the calculator that we have is in addition to learning your body type, you're also going to get some information about horizontal balance and your illusion of balance goal. It's great to watch this on a video, but I also think it's important to have it in hand because it's going to help you make better choices when either you're out shopping in a brick and mortar or when you're ordering online. And the best part is free. I want to tell you thank you so much for joining me today. From the bottom of my heart, I love it when women start taking that first step and they start to really think about their wardrobe in a completely different way. You learning about your body type, you learning about its illusion of balance goal is actually a foundation of building a wardrobe that you truly adore. So my friend, Good job. Take a moment, pat yourself on the back, have a little moment of a party, 
You took that first step and there are thousands and thousands of women out there that don't want to do that. You did do the hard work. You took your measurements. You learned about your illusion of balance goal. You now have some more information so that tomorrow you can make better decisions than you did today. And for that, I just want to say congratulations and well done. Speaking of that, I want you to have an amazing rest of your day. Go do something good for yourself. I want to tell you God bless and take care. And then finally, I'm going to see you next time because I'm going to have more fashion tips and more ways for you to dress your body type coming up on additional episodes of Adore Your Wardrobe. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.